Imagine a vibrant festival that spans nine nights, celebrating the powerful force that drives both creation and destruction, the divine feminine. This is the essence of Navratri, a time for spiritual reflection and triumph over darkness. The term Navratri derives from the Sanskrit words nav, meaning nine, and ratri, meaning nights. Each night, Hindus honor a different form of goddess Durga, embodying strength, wisdom, courage, and compassion, making this celebration not just a festival, but a profound homage to the divine qualities that inspire resilience and protection. The main idea behind Navratri is the victory of good over evil. There's this powerful story about goddess Durga defeating the demon Mahisasoa, and the festival basically celebrates that triumph. It's also deeply symbolic of the spiritual battle inside each of us, fighting off negativity, darkness, and the ego, while embracing purity and truth. What's cool is how differently it's celebrated across India. In North India, for example, people often link it to Ram Leela, where they act out scenes from the Ramayana, culminating in Dushara, the day when Bhagavan Ram defeated Ravan. There's a lot of fasting, prayers, and gatherings around temples. In Gujarat and Maharashtra, it's all about the dance. Every night, people gather for Garba and Dandiya Ras, traditional folk dances performed in large groups. Everyone's dressed in colorful outfits, and it's such a lively, musical atmosphere. The energy there is just contagious. Now, if you go to West Bengal or Odisha during Navratri, you'll see Durga Puja in full swing. Huge, beautifully decorated statues of Durga are placed in these elaborate pandals, and people offer prayers, feast, and enjoy cultural performances. The last day, Vijaya Dashmi, is a big deal, as they immerse the idols in water, marking the goddess's return to her celestial abode. Down south, in states like Tamil Nadu and Karnataka, you'll come across something called Balmai Golu, where dolls are displayed on steps and people visit each other's homes to admire the displays. It's like this beautiful blend of devotion and art, and the final days are dedicated to Lakshmi, Sarasvati, and Durga. During Navratri, people do all sorts of things, fasting is a big part of it. Some people give up grains, meat, and alcohol as a way to purify their body and mind. They spend time in prayer and offer flowers, fruits, and sweets to the goddess. There's also a lot of focus on music and dance, which adds to the festive vibe. In some places, Gabra nights and cultural performances are a huge part of the celebrations. Now, what's fascinating about this festival is its focus on the divine feminine. In Hinduism, the goddess isn't just a sidekick to male deities. She's seen as the very essence of the universe's creative power, known as Shakti. Navratri really brings this to the forefront, celebrating the feminine energy that sustains and protects the cosmos. It's not just about spirituality, though. The festival also emphasizes the importance of women's empowerment and their resilience. The goddess represents the strength, wisdom, and nurturing nature that women bring to the world, both in their personal and societal roles. It's a beautiful reminder of the balance between masculine and feminine energies that Hinduism places so much value on. Thank you for joining us. If you found this video informative and insightful, please consider giving it a thumbs up, sharing it with your friends and family, and subscribing to our channel for more content like this. We will see you in the next video. Till then, take care and keep exploring the world around you. May Goddess Durga bless you with strength, wisdom, and happiness. Happy Navratri!